what is going on guys welcome to another video um today's video is a market recap um no trades haven't taken a trade this week um i feel like the market has been kind of weird this week um due to fomc week um and it was also a cpi week um today was fomc and there was cpi so um didn't trade today but um just want to do a quick market recap um i feel like i haven't posted in a bit since like last friday since friday i haven't posted so i just want to bring some content to you guys right i want to bring some content and um let's see how the market moved any potential plays um i know this this is all poly hindsight but um i'm just doing this for fun let's see what the market gave us today and um we're gonna be on gj we could check out gold after um, so let's hop right into it. So hopping on at the 15 minute. Um, I'm not sure at what time we had news. We could check right now at yeah 8:30 and at 2 p.m. Um, this was this candle over here. Okay, so we hop into the 15 minute. Obviously bearish, right? Um, break structure to the downside over here. Um, we're bearish, right? Um, I kind of already saw these um, on my phone a little bit. Um, kind of have an idea, obviously, of like what I was looking at today, because um, I already kind of saw it on my phone, and I kind of want to I want to have something like prepared for you guys um, to make this video. So what do we see, right? We're gonna downside. Um, this is usually peak time around like these candles right here would have been like peak time when I would have traded, because I usually trade from like nine to eleven. Um, to be honest, um, probably would have been yeah from anywhere from nine to eleven would have been around here. So I guess I could have gone short, right? A retracement up here. Um, let's see how that would have looked like. In the 15 minute, it really doesn't give us anything. It doesn't really give us order blocks. It doesn't give us um, imbalances or anything. Uh, moving on to the 10 minute, we honestly don't see much. We do see this imbalance over here that does get, um, it does get respected and it tanks a little bit. If we go into the five minute, what do we see? We see an order block right above the imbalance right we have an, <clears throat> an order block we have the imbalance in the five minute we have the my bad we have the the imbalance in the 10 minute we have the order block in the five minute um the 10 minute uh imbalance aligns with the five minute so this would have been a really nice entry right if we go on the one minute which is where we execute our trades um where are we right here we could have just seen what it gives us in the one minute like i said each time frame is going to give you something we could have seen honestly this order block right hits it tanks we caught it we could have gotten in right here as soon as we see this big move down we could have put our stops right at the this is the five minute i'm pretty sure it's a five minute order block let's see where are we yes the stops right at the five minute order block and then I'm sorry dude and then could have reached these one minute lows we would have hit yeah I don't know one to three point five it would have been a nice little trade honestly this is probably like if I was trading if I would have wake woken up obviously it's super hindsight right don't hate you know I'm just showing you guys possible plays we could have taken I could have taken you guys could have taken um so been a nice little play this would have been into like the the time window of like when I would trade this player happened around like 10 30 so yeah I feel like it's a peak peak time um it would have been a nice trade entry um let's move on let's delete this let's see what we did after um what do we do after this we, we caught this play which was obviously we were going to downtrend we got the we got the set of discount and then dropped um after this was the 2 p.m new the two uh the 2 p.m. folders, which is the FOMC folders, we had this huge um, bullish candle up. Obviously, we took out all these structures to the upside, right? Let me bring out another line right here. Broke all these structures to the upside. And then if you guys were trading the p.m. session, um, is, that, is that from like 1 to 3 p.m. or 2 to 4 p.m.? If you're trading that, honestly, what we could have done is... um gone into the five minute and seen any entries around here 
and then targeted these highs or maybe targeted these highs they want to have hit but um you could have hit some tps if you hopped into those we see this imbalance right this huge candle makes this imbalance that taps into it and goes and reaches these highs on the five minute we have um these breakers we have a bunch of orders that we could have tapped into we knew we had this huge news candle that um signified that we were going to bullish right uh we tapped into it and went higher also also like i said I've, i kind of saw these before if we check in the one hour right which could have been a really nice play is uh you write this out. Obviously, we see the one hour imbalance, and um, we see that it's I'm pretty sure it's like on equilibrium as well. Yeah, it kind of respects equilibrium and then pushes higher. If you have an imbalance on a, such a high time from like the hourly um, and equilibrium, right? We could have just um, see how we could have entered this using our my strategy, kind of right. So we saw equilibrium. Let's delete this box right here. This is our this big rectangle is our hourly imbalance. We have equilibrium within that imbalance. We have this order block on the 15, which we respect perfectly. Right? So honestly, here we could just go into the one minute and see. <clears throat> These are kind of tricky because it's such a big zone on the one minute. But honestly, we know it's equilibrium. We know that we're obviously gonna go a bit under it in the one minute, obviously, right? Because in the higher time frames, it'd be a bunch of it'd be just a big wick to the downside in the one minute. It obviously shows you it in candles. We could honestly just once we had a big push, to, like a big um push to the upside, we could have entered. We obviously were retracing in the one minute with all these um all this accumulation over here. Um, kind of yeah, it kind of disrespects a little bit, kind of trades under. But if you wanted to be safe, you could honestly just got it in here or in here and then had a stops right under the one hourly the the hourly imbalance and then reached um these highs for one to 2.5 wouldn't been bad the entry is not the greatest to be honest um you'd honestly have to get a nice little entry here um we could honestly say that we had this five minute imbalance which we traded into and then if you had that lined out you could wait for the the one minute to hit it and push on um, to the upside which would have been around here which gives you a one a one to four rr um which is pretty nice but if we see in the hourly it gets kind of confusing once you see it in the one minute and stuff but once you see the hourly and stuff it's it's obviously the pm session i know a lot of people probably don't trade around this time anymore um i think i've seen like tiktoks and videos that people that do trade the pm session but um yeah you can see a clear imbalance in the one hour we have equilibrium taps it and it'll probably reach these highs reach for um, liquidity so yeah guys that was today's market recap hopefully tomorrow let's check if there's news tomorrow um at 8 30 that's fine i usually i'll probably trade like a 9 9 30 um hopefully tomorrow i can hit a trade for you guys right we could hit a trade we could do a little trade recap I did this today just because I know it's CPI, FOMC. It was kind of kind of a bullshit little video. Um, just a little market recap, things I saw after. I know it's hindsight, but um, just doing this for content. Wanted to bring um bring out a video, um, post this on TikTok. I feel like I haven't posted for you guys in a while. I did, I just didn't want to make you guys think that like I stopped making these videos. Um, it's just it's also hard because this is not my setup, so it's also hard with that. I have to find the time that I have the setup available to record. But yeah, guys, this was today's video. Um, I hope you guys like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.